in today video we are going to design the intake of the engine engine project so let's discuss the drawing so this is the drawing and uh, if you if we see the view from this side this will be our front here we have the top view and here we have the right side view so if you read the drawing and you know the dimensions so this 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 is the base this first first base we are going to design it in the in the solid work this will be the our base feature so it has these dimensions here we can see it and after drawing it we will make the sketch like that the path and file here like that you can see the dimensions here for this uh, uh, profile and you can see the dimension for this part like that so this will be our second feature we will use the sweep and then after that uh, we are going to add these holes here and it it also has the dimensions here which are given so distance between two holes and we also have a feature at this point which have which has the diameter of one inches and uh, thickness of 1.1 the whole thickness of this design from this point to this point we can see it's given here so we make this sketch extrude it at this point we will use this swift boss base for this uh, this section this feature we will make the cuts we will add this feature so now go to solidworks we are going to make sure the uh, units are in inches start the sketch and the first uh, feature we are going to design it on the right plane open the sketch on the right plane then we are going to use the corner rectangle so like this we draw this uh, corner rectangle we put the dimensions from the drawing so this dimension is 1.5 and this dimension is given as 1.75 we can we can add the corner rectangle but we just added the uh, corner rectangle we can also add the center rectangle to make this rectangle in the center we we add the half dimension or we can also add the symmetry so 1.5 divided by 2 and from this point to this point the half dimension of 1.75 divided by 2 so now it is in the center so we we'll just go to the feature extrude this design and the extrusion depth we know that it is 0 0.25 0 0.25 from the drawing on the front view you can see that okay next we are going to add the you know, we are going to add this fillet here we are going to add this we are going to add this fillet so go to features and add the fillet click on the fillet and here we put the radius 0.25 and we have to select these four corners four edges so remove the sharp edges okay so this is our base feature we can also make a hole here in the center so open the sketch on this face draw draw a circle and for the diameter of this circle we can see the and we can see the drawing so here we have the outer diameter of 0 0.75 here we we have it and this diameter is going here so it is the inner diameter how we can calculate it, it the thickness is given as 0 0.75 so from the uh, total diameter we can convert into radius divided 2 and minus this thing so it will give you the radius or if you want to calculate it from the diameter so 0 0.75 0 0.75 minus 2 multiply by 0 0.0 three five so this way you can calculate the uh, diameter of this uh, this hole here we have a hole which is passing or going through all of this chat okay so go to solid work
and put the diameter so this diameter will be 0 0.75 minus 2 multiply by 0 0.035 so this will be the inner diameter so exit the sketch and use the extrude cut and make a through wall from the direction one through all so it must cut whole body now we have to make a profile this one this profile and it has these dimensions and then we make and this sorry this is the path and then we make a make a profile here on, on this front plane so which plane we have to open the sketch we have to open the sketch for the path on the front plane open the front plane and start the sketching at this point like that like that and put the dimensions so from this point to this point we have the dimension of 1.5 and this total dimension from this point to this point is given as it's given as 1.5 okay and now we take the fillet and add a fillet here the radius of the fillet is 1 okay so this will be the path of this sketch now we have to make a uh, for the swift base moves we have to make a file sketch so open the sketch open the sketch on this face and we add a outer diameter so the dimension of this diameter is 0 0.75 okay now exit the sketch go to feature use the swift base moves so profile will be selected and then select the path so this will be our path but uh, what we needed we needed a hollow here this whole profile we needed a hollow so we add a thin feature so we add a thin feature and for the thin feature for the direction we select one direction and we add 0 0.035 so now you can see it's added in the other direction we have to change the direction of this uh, thickness so it must be in the inside like that not in that way now it's adding the material on the outer of this sketch this profile sketch what we needed we needed the direction in the inner side so we just change the direction and click ok now we make this profile next open this sketch on this this face use the convert entities and we convert this edge into a sketch and then add a circle and the diameter of this circle is given as 1 exit the sketch and we extrude it so how much will be the extrusion here we have point zero point one one five so it's not through all it's blind 0 0.115 exit the sketch next we have to add some holes open the sketch on this face select draw the corner rectangle from the origin like that and give the dimensions so dimension between these two lines is given as one and dimension between these two lines is given as 1.25 and this whole sketch is just for a reference so we can add the holes so we select this whole sketch so to select all of these sketches and for construction we just needed this for the construction okay now we add holes add the 
corner points. So dimension of these holes, find the diameter of these holes. It is given at this point. Zero point two six six, and we have to add an equal relation. So select all of these, all of these, all of these hole, all of these uh, diameter, and uh, the circle, and the equal relation between them. And now we are going to use the extruded cut to remove this material and use the through arm, so it will make the cut. Next, we just have to add some fillets. So select the fillet. Diameter is, radius is 0.125 and select this edge. So we added this fillet. Okay, so now this design is complete. The design of the intake is complete. Please subscribe my channel and if you have any question, uh, let me know in the comments.